All right, what's up guys? It's Eventon here. Um, actually taking a load of some of the loot that I have actually recently acquired doing probably about, I would say six or seven of the Crimson Harvest sites. It's a combination of the, uh, the Shining versions and just the normal Crimson um, versions as well. And so in my last video I made actually about the Crimson sites, uh, I, I told everyone like, hey, I couldn't really tell the difference. And there is a huge difference between the two sites. The Crimson versions definitely seem like the, uh, the beginner versions, you could say. Uh, and the Shining ones are definitely more advanced. The, the ships just simply do more damage. They seem to aggro um, the drones much, much harder. So uh, I grabbed some of the loot. I was I used to do a bit of mission running out in the uh, Minmatar region or out in uh, yeah, Hematar. And at least as of right now, um, I actually am grabbing some of the loot that I have actually acquired since I started. So I should probably actually have local up just so I can see how many people are in the region. So just three. Um, so I ran, and so I guess I'll show you guys my fit first. After I basically lost my, <laughs> after I lost my Gila, and I know some people pronounce it Gila or Gila. Um, I prefer to call it Gila because I actually live in Arizona, and there are actually creatures called Gila monsters. I remember actually doing a report on those creatures uh, in like fifth or sixth grade or something like that. Um, really nasty uh, creatures, but they're called Gila monsters because we literally have them here. Uh, in the state of Arizona so wanted to close that real quick and so I actually do have a like a mission running rattlesnake um, I don't have like the most skills for it especially as it pertains to um, the rocket skills and stuff so this is what it looks like essentially if you guys want me to I can link it down below but running these shining sites in a rattlesnake is honestly overkill you have to fit it pretty poorly for it to, to really be a struggle for you um, I'm running the Federation Navy Ogres, because I don't, I can't use Tier 2 uh, heavies yet. Um, I do have a tracking enhancer just to make it a bit easier for those heavies to lock on to those um, smaller drones for the most part. And so we actually do have quite a few ships here um, in this region. Is there a different angle I could take this? This wants me to fly all the way up there. I wonder if I can hit here first. there's got to be a way there we go here hold up to 100 so i'll come at it from a different angle that's usually kind of the smart thing you want to do <laughs> if you are going through low sec even though i am in a senesis and it is pretty tanky um i have been smart bombed before but i didn't die because there's only like maybe two or three of them but if there are in excess of seven or eight plus battleships um you you can die <laughs> to that many smart bombs i would imagine and this is a very tanky fit senesis that i have here um, I actually do have it um, up on my uh, other video that I have as well for my Sinesis fits where it's just a lot of shield extenders, things like that. But I like this here. This fit is honestly very flexible. I have a very expensive uh, large shield booster here. Um, I was running like a dual shield booster fit, but I thought that was overkill. Uh, it was mainly for mission running. I have the drone nav just so I can get in and out my drones can get in and out quicker because those were getting focused really, really hard. But uh, again, honestly, if you're in a um, in a rattlesnake, okay, cool. So there are some dead ships. Ooh. I wish I could check out that battle cruiser wreck, but I uh, honestly have a little bit too much loot in my ship that I'm comfortable with to be able to do this. So after we jump through here, we only got one more jump after this. and all right so so i'm getting a little distracted here we can actually close this now uh it's my drones it's my character and for some of you guys that didn't know i've actually i used to play a long time ago but i only did it for like a month or two like i mentioned in my other video but my last death and this is kind of where i figure i started was about eight months ago so i don't have a ton of skills which is why a lot of my fits don't have like tier two uh, rockets or hybrid turrets and this and that because I've really only been playing I would say hardcore for about eight months now so that's really the biggest barrier to entry for me to be honest when it comes to um, trying to like figure out new fits and ships and things like that uh, for the most part so we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the loot I've gotten at least when I was running them in um, out in like Minmatar space 
not personal assets. It's not what I was looking at. Well, this is actually some of the loot I've gotten because it was, I honestly went all the way to like the heck region to run these sites because it was just way too crowded in and around like the Jita system and like Kaldari. But I did get a few, get a few good skins. I got like the Armageddon, uh, the Merlin, like headhunter skin. I don't even think that was a skin you could get, but I did get one. Um, Omen Navy issue uh, skin. I got a Tormentor one. And of course these uh, Overseer ones that you can get that are pretty good as well. So I was mainly just showing off the skins. But so far the loot that we've gotten after running about, I would say six sites or so, six, maybe seven. Honestly, don't know off the top of my head. But uh, we actually got some really good cold iron skins. And from what I've heard, these cold iron skins, you can really only get them from limited time events like this. So even though I got these really good skins, I might hold on to them for like another month or so and just wait for the price to go up. Because uh, I personally, I don't PvP a lot, or actually I don't PvP at all, but I know the Imperial Navy Slicer is like a really, really popular PvP ship. It has a really high skill, gap, skill cap from what I've heard. Uh, the Coercer and the Devoter, those are both, uh, I've heard of those ships. I'm not sure if they're used too often, of course. Um, just my very last run, I landed this 21st tier Overseer's um, like personal effects thing, which you can turn into, I believe, Concord. I'm trying to remember who's the one that like accepts those um items but yeah the loot isn't too bad and same thing with this like this men's crimson harvest jacket i'm not sure if this is something i'm going to sell immediately or just hold on to for a while so i'm not entirely too sure because a lot of these limited time items typically if you hold on to them the prices will go up uh, eventually i guess it just depends on the item and like the popularity uh, but sometimes you know the prices can go up to 50 percent 200 percent. it just depends on uh, its rarity but and as you can see um you know 204 million out of 207 million a lot of this other stuff is honestly just uh crap that i've been trying to um bring back from mission running all it's all the stuff that you kind of pick up in an mtu while you're running missions uh things like that but ever since the mineral prices have been skyrocketing uh, i've been trying to really get into reprocessing and honestly i tried getting into um industry and it's just like too complex for me and it, i feel like it just takes too much time and it's almost like learning a completely new and entire market other than like the already active market so i've actually been currently trying to skill up my reprocessing skills currently as you can see like the reprocessing efficiency uh, i do want to get into scrap metal processing at least up to four so that i can actually reprocess some of that um, you know quote unquote junk because sometimes you can actually make anywhere between i would say like 10 to 40 percent on some of that stuff you can reprocess so um, it doesn't sound like much but it definitely adds up uh, at the end of the day when you start reprocessing that stuff so uh, i think on my very next video which uh, i think i'm going to release this video uh, sunday morning and then i'm going to have another video monday morning i think what i'm going to start doing is on the weekends just record like two or three videos and just slowly release them throughout the week but uh, i do want to make a video of the skills i'm currently learning which ones i'm learning and why and kind of how I'm remapping my character and setting it up because initially I set up my character to learn a lot of uh, intelligence and memory skills because those are kind of like the, I don't know, you guess you could call them the uh, the less sexy skills, I guess you could say. But I do want to start learning ships and some new weapons in the meantime. So, uh, all right. So now we're finally here at Docked and Jita. I hope you guys had a good look at least some of the loot I got, some of the skins, and some of the loot you can get. And I would say probably on average, it really depends on like the work clone blanks, things like that. I mean, there's been times where I've run sites and I, and oh, I forgot about the bounties too. Uh, I actually had it pulled up here on the left. Um, over the last few days, I've probably made probably about 60 or 70 mil in bounties killing the ships so that actually makes up a good chunk of it too so i would say like each site that you run including bounties and all that stuff i would say anywhere between 20 to 50 million it really depends it's probably actually closer to 15 because the bounties on average yeah because the last battleship gives you about 5 million and the rest of the ships i would say give you about 10 and the loot that you get on the last guy the battleship again that ranges anywhere between i would say I mean, it can go as low as like five million. So I would say like five to tw five to twenty-five. It really depends. So, again, I I have no idea. This is all just high sec as well. So sorry for the long rant, but I just want to at least throw something together for you guys to to watch and watch me do a little bit of high sec running 
or sorry, a little bit of uh, tracking through low sec and my synesis as well. So hope you guys fly safe and keep an eye out for my next video talking about my skills. So, all right, you guys take care.